Hey guys, here we are in the production car challenge in the MX-5 at Summit Point Raceway. We managed to qualify first in our class by six by nine thousandths of a second. Super close to Teja. Hopefully we'll have a good race. Pretty close to that, like the whole grid actually. Um, then we also have the large Toyota GR86, pretty close on pace. And a few uh, Mustangs, so it should be a fun race. Hope you guys enjoy and see you at the end. One lap to green. Line up on the right side. Pit road is closed. Catch up. 35. Car. Catch up 20, car, catch up 25, yeah, right. car, catch up 23, car, catch up 15, car, catch up 27, car. Good luck, everyone. You ready for some straightaway bumps, Travis? Yes, sir. Please. By the way, the mic sounds great. Check me. I've got an Arctis I've used for years and I love it. It is. I think it's a nine. It's got like Get over the years so it's uh, noise canceling. We don't need to be this far back. Left side. Clear. I'm sorry, man. Right side. I couldn't the see right. the car, right I fucked it up. Clear on the right. Wow. Right side. Clear.
Left side. Unreal. Fuck the thing, guys. Holy on the shit. right. Rewind. Clear. Left side. Damn, that dude's missing the tire. Clear. That was crazy. Y'all are so trash. No. What are you talking about? I never drifted onto the racing line. I was avoiding another crash. Let me through, uh, Tasia. Uh, yeah, just let me know. Appreciate it, dog.
Thank you, sir. Car on your left. Clear. Car on. Clear on the right. Right side. Clear. Right side. Clear. Fuck. Bye bye, Paul. What happened? Fucking fuel, I forgot. Oh uh, no, I was gonna look forward to that, right? Yeah, no problem. Take the left. Seems fucked up. What just happened? Justin, you shouldn't fight. Now we got a pack of real brilliant racing. Oh, Chris, get your pop out. Oh, shit, who did that? I don't know, he just turned out an enemy. He was trying to squeeze me or something? That was not me. Unlock. Unlock you, Chris. Oi, Chris, dog bomb me stop. Thank you, mate. I was there. Can't hear you, George. Uh, Julian. Car on your left. Clear on the left. Right side. Appreciate you, Deja. Clear on the right. Yeah, I'm not gonna pass you, just gonna push the fuck it up. Clear on the right. Yeah, yeah, take the bump off the arm, bro. Try to help you.
Car on your left. Clear. Beep, beep. Right side. Paul, you want to put? Nah, it's okay. I'll just drop off Randy and then you guys can have your rights. What the fuck? Ramos, was that you? Uh, no, it was uh, Godoy. Miata leader. What are you doing, 4.8k driver? What are you doing? Is this better, Chris? Can't park there. Hey Randy, do you want to like let me go and then you can race behind? You just want to pass me, John? No, oh, man, I'm good. Distracting you? I'm sorry, Chief. Yeah, I'm a left down, Julian. Car Just on. your own thing, man. Clear. Perdí la referencia, papá. Sorry, Randy, but uh, you had that coming.
Zachary, do you have a mic? Zach, I can just let you... Y'all are in A6s, man, just that. It's fine. I know this has to be a boring race for you behind my slow ass, but I appreciate your patience. You're good, dude.
I can't believe that guy just took us out. Soccer. That looks rough, man. A little bit randy. Point, hermano, point. He was in that black Mustang, like, last, last, hot mess, all over the place. Then he took out the second place guy in our group, and then swept me along with him. Yeah, it wasn't that good. I had to bump it in possible. I've been stuck behind him, because I stuck at passing, and then I almost got took out too. Jose, what do you think of that setup? I like it. Mine? 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 One flag. No, no the setup. Good. Like, are you asking about my setup or what happened? You still got about two laps of fuel left. Car ride. Right. When you end the blue flag, John, you mean to move out the way, mate, not sit on the racing line. Zachary, I'm trying. I got real damage. If you want buy, I can let you buy on the trade. Yeah, I bet Zachary. I mean, we were seven seconds ahead of the pack and that happened. My guy. <laughs> My bad. You have about one lap of fuel left. <laughs> Oh, I, I was trying to get that P7, I would have dedicated it. Good job, very good job. We should have had first and second, dang. I appreciate it though, dude. <laughs> yeah, sorry, I left on the picture. That was the last bit, bitch effort. Well, in amidst all the chaos, we came away with a second place and a clean, hard-fought battle. So kudos to... what is his name? Man, I can't even find it. There it is. Kudos to Francisco from Mexico. Put on a great fight there and were able to have some nice racing. He went defensive on the final lap, went to the outside. He went pretty deep. Nice uh, commitment. Didn't run wide, though. Then I had to avoid the spinning G86 on track. And uh, was side by side. Then had the inside. It was about half a car length ahead. Managed to clear him. Then he was in the slipstream. Went defensive again. And he went to the outside, kind of. And then uh, seemed like from here on out, you were just able to pull a bit on him. Plus, even if you are close, 
you don't really have enough time to get a run out of the final corner to the finish line. So you really need to get alongside into the final corner, which is quite scary. But uh, yeah, ended up getting second place. Um, I did feel like he made a few mistakes, which ended up leading to us falling off Matthias. So congrats to him for getting the win. Would have liked to uh, not make that mistake early on. But let's go back to the star of the race when we had this look at this crazy mess, dude. I mean, sure, sure, we ended up missing turn one at the very start here. We were getting bumped bump drafted and such but i just know that the tires are so cold that it's not that i broke too late it's just that like you never know when the rears are going to slide out on you so i kind of went wide just to be safe without turning in too aggressively since you have any bit of extra speed early on the car spins so i rather take the three spot loss rather than a 15 second spin obviously got to work on that but Anyways, this, this is where everything fell apart. I saw the smoke over there, and I'm like, okay, everything's gone. And I see smoke, car spinning over to the left here, and then there's smoke everywhere. <laughs> I'm like, this is not going to end well. I'm at the very right-hand side of the track. There's cars just stopped everywhere, and what the heck happened? This person got pushed. I'm over, like, into the tires over here trying to find some space, and still end up getting tagged. Somehow didn't get spun. But, yeah, a lot of times people go over here to launch themselves off the ramp. On, so I'm like, I gotta get away before I start going off jumps. So, yeah. Uh, it definitely wasn't a pass in the grass, but it was a wreck avoidance in the grass. Look how much I needed every single inch of that track. Good thing the tire barriers weren't pushed in. Because, man, <laughs> got to do some off-roading. That was fun. So, let's see if we can look at chop review just to kind of figure out what the heck happened through here. So... If we go out a bit far farther, everything happened like way ahead of us. So let's actually zoom back in. Where the, did this even start? Is it a... Uh, I don't see... Okay, there's already a wreck up ahead. So let's see. There's a train of GR86s. And it, yeah, it all starts... It all starts in corner entry when the 20 car gets loose. Let's watch this full speed. Yeah, I think when he slowed down, he slowed down while turning, and so that caused the car to get unbalanced. A lot of over-rotation early on, and he tried to correct it, and then once he tried to turn back again, the suspension changed, the weight transition just made the car super unstable, and he's really loose here. The car behind really had nowhere to go, I mean, because he's sideways, essentially. Ended up running up into him, and uh, then he's spun around. And anything else happen afterwards? People are just basically trying to avoid him, avoid him spinning. And how the heck did this keep going on, though? That's what I want to know. There's like one car spinning, and then all of a sudden we have the red car wrecking. Did he get tagged? Nope, he just spun on his own. Did he get, I think he got on the grass, though, on exit. Let's see. Yeah, I think... That was kind of unrelated to the incident. He was just pushing, ran a bit wide, and then got tagged by that car, which <laughs> led to Adrian spinning across the track. And man, what happened? Where did this purple guy come from? He's way back here. Man, I I honestly don't blame him. Even though he didn't really check up that much. Like, he sees everything going over to the right here. So he's, like, staying all the way over to the... Or he's staying everything over to the left. He stays all the way to the right. Then he sees a car coming across the track. He thinks that it'll cross past. So he starts to go to the left. And then it starts going a lot slower than he thought. So, honestly, if he sped up, he probably would have been okay. But the fact that he slowed down and then turned left, just bad timing, honestly. It's hard to avoid those. So he's parked in the middle of the track. Here comes another 86. And man, what a mess. What a 360 though, good job to him. And one last thing I want to check, I think that the leading, yeah this was the leading MX-5 and I think he got involved in the wreck. Yep, 
he started second and ended up uh, getting wrecked out. So I guess in some ways it was good that we missed, missed turn one because that means we were a bit later to the wreck and we're able to check up or move out of the way if needed. So yeah, in the end, <laughs> went all the way into the grass, avoided as we already showed, and uh, ended up getting second in the end. So yeah, hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, shout out to... Uh, Peter for winning the Mustang class. Can't even find him, but won by over a minute or almost a minute. So, yeah, nice job. Thanks for watching and hope you guys enjoyed. See you next time.